Well, I mean, how do you slow down this rushing attack averaging about 260 yards on the ground per game? Well, you have to be really sound on what you do on defense because, you know, they give you a lot of different formations, a lot of different shifting and movement, and you got to make sure you fit where you're supposed to fit based on the defense that's called and the team have a chance. So, you know, and then after, if you do that, then you got to still be physical and, and we got to do a great job of uh, game tackling this running back and the quarterback. You guys worked on tackling a lot before the Furman game during the bye How do you think it improved against Furman and then in this week of practice? Well, I think, you know, we actually did some of the things and, and – uh, in the game that we did in practice, and you know, we, we're trying to teach you guys to tackle lower and wrap up and pull angles together. And we saw some of those, those uh, low tackles that way. And so, you know, I guess we're creatures of habit. What you practice is what you're going to do. So we, we, you know, we did it again this weekend. So hopefully, we'll pay off in this ballgame. JT situation. JT is playing. JT practice today. Uh, you know, hamstring bothered him a little bit early in the week. So you know, but he he's going to play. He's going to start. Uh, I don't know if we go tell him we're going to start and okay. being the one day of practice. But if he's ready to play, I'm sure okay. he will. John Walton. John Walton is back. Uh, he's back full speed. Uh, he practiced today, uh, so he's been cleared to play. What have the reps been like at safety between Chris and, and DJ this week? Well, actually, it's been more Chris and Chaz this week. Uh, you know, they're going to do a lot of shifting and moving, and, you know, DJ is really a guy that we want and that's going to play a lot of post safety for us. That's going to be physical. So it'll be more Chaz and, uh, and uh, Moody this week, I believe. Okay, so no TJ then. Well, TJ is always the bound to save you. I thought you were talking about the free safety spot. It's TJ and and uh, Moody are going to be the starters. TJ uh, Gurley will be the starter with Moody. What's, what's Chaz done to get back in there? Well, I think Chaz has shown this week that he's been focused and you know making the proper checks and fitting the run right. And so he's shown us he's ready to play. And if you're sure he's ready to play, you're going to play. About Mason Harris, do you think he'll be ready to play? You know, again, we watched him practice yesterday, and he didn't you know put a lot of weight on when he you had to fight pressure. And that's not that's not the kind of ball game you want to play in if. You ain't got two strong limbs because, you know, they're going to be a big front that's going to come out of football, going to double team you and uh, try to get movement. So, you know, if if he's ready to play, we'll play in spare lane. But, you know, if he's not 100%, then he probably won't play very much. And not yep. that he was going to play, but Blake McClain, I saw was in yellow. What's his deal? Uh, Blake has a uh, concussion. He, so he's in that stage of them cleaning. Personally for you, obviously you're not going up against him per se, but obviously with Ellis on the other sideline, what is this? Uh, game for you <laughs> for coach johnson nothing <laughs> you know again coach johnson and I are very very close and uh you know, always wishing well when he playing other people or uh, i'll be you know lay egg on defense this week uh you know coach johnson well they'll do a good job they got a great defense over there and so you know i wish them nothing but the best uh but this week i'm going for the game well i know you got your own game plan to worry about but i mean you got to be kind of curious to see how, how your boss goes up against uh, oh, him no. i promise you i haven't even thought about it because yeah. again it's yeah. It's just the nature of this business. You're gonna always face some people that you know either you, you coach with or you you're friends with or so you know the bottom line of this game is, is winning and you know we're going down there to try to win regardless of who on the other sideline. How do you bottle up what you did against Georgia and then take that down to Auburn? Because obviously you've proven you can beat a good team. This this, this team as a whole and the, and the defense for the most part. Well hopefully you know we, we go ahead and play the way we played in Georgia and clean up some of the things that we did in that game and if we we play with that level of emotion, that level of enthusiasm, we'll have a chance. I mean, Auburn has been known to turn the ball over a few times that they lost six fumbles and Nick might have thrown three or four picks. After having three turnovers against Furman, just how, how much confidence is that reading you guys that you can get a few turnovers on against Auburn? Well, again, it's, it's something that we're practicing every day. You know, we, we still have that three uh, turnovers in practice a day. Uh, guys have been getting four and five. Uh, it wasn't a day this week we didn't get three turnovers. So, you know, the guys are conscious of of getting the ball when it's in the air. They, they're constantly intercepting. When the guy's running, they're constantly pulling it out. So, you know, you, again, like I said, you, the thing that you do in practice is what you're going to do in a ball game. So hopefully we can get turnovers. That's, you know, we're going to have to get turnovers if we're going to win this ball game. His coach obviously knows Ellis pretty well, but I mean, has he picked your brain a little bit about what he thinks adjustments Ellis might do? Nah, you know, you know? one question about what Ellis is going to do. You know, yeah. Coach knows Ellis yeah. as well yeah. as I yeah. do. I do. He, but he beyond, beyond the game, nah. just the way Ellis kind of thinks and all that you think is Not at all. Yeah. He hadn't asked me one question about Coach Johnson. So he's going to start that other defense. Oh, uh, you know, we, we talked this morning and we still didn't uh, come up with a decision. We'll talk again after practice today, and uh, you know, it, it'll be a decision that we'll make uh, probably tonight on who's going to be the start spot. It's hard to let David come out and been going for a long while to start, and, and then you know, uh, Bryson uh, been moved to end, so he'll play some in. But you know, again, you just it could be theirs. Probably will be theirs, but we don't know that yet. Talking about Bryce Nell Williams. Yeah, or he'll, he'll, Bryce Nell Williams is playing in for us the rest of the season.